Hello viewers. I've already got a video of this little motor burning up on YouTube. It turns out just the um, the springs that push the brushes against the armature there lost their uh, tension and they uh, weren't pushing anymore. So I put stronger ones in and hopefully we can get some more uh, smoke and fire and sparks out of this. But first, I'd like to show you all the project I was working on for the last two weeks or so. A uh, universal voltage regulator. It started out as a multimeter calibrator. I'm not quite sure how it worked, but it's really old. It had vacuum tubes in it and everything. So I pretty much gutted the stuff that was in it and I turned it into something that I could use. Each, each switch, except for the bottom, this one has ten, ten positions on it. The next three have nine, and the top only goes up to four. No idea why, just the way the thing was designed. This hasn't been hooked up yet. It might, be, might not be worth the trouble. I put in two more terminals. These were not here originally used to be a, another dial. This is not hooked up. But you can kind of see the faded stuff I kind of scraped off there. Range. 0 0.55, 550, 500, which is not relevant anymore. So these are now DC. These are AC, and the bottom is just a ground. I took two high voltage transformers from something else, not in this at all and I uh, ripped out the secondary windings and rewound them both. This one here starts at 2 volts AC goes up to 40 volts AC by 2 volt increments and that's controlled by these two bottom switches so say 2 volts, 4, 6, 8 and so on. And this one on the 9 position is 40 volts. The upper one starts at 45 volts and goes to 130 volts AC by 5 volt increments. After 130 volts AC I uh, added some extra winds and goes up by a larger amount. From 130 volts it goes to 145 um, 160, 180, and then finally 200 volts AC. This thing is by no means light at all. Probably weighs about 10 pounds at least. And you can see the switches. I added a 120 millimeter whisper fan. It only does um, 740 RPMs, 115 volts, 7 watts. Fits perfectly where the circuit board used to mount. It was held in place by those six screws there. This is solid, won't go nowhere. I find the upper transformer gets a little warm, so I hooked up a thermostat here and so far I just got a temporary held in place like that and I might secure that better in a different way somehow in the future and when it gets to a certain certain temperature it'll kick the fan on and uh, provide additional cooling most likely when this is under a heavier loads I don't want this burning out because rewinding these transformers took a better part of a week there's about 20 wires coming out of each transformer. So it, it was a lot of work. 
I left the primary windings intact. They were already um, wound for 120 volts AC and I didn't bother to touch them. There's no need to. Bottom transformer. To get the DC, I mounted two of those right to the frame. Acting as a heat sink, it's all aluminum here. And I soldered on a capacitor. Um, I believe it's 200 microfarads, 400 volts, to uh, filter the DC output. So as I said, this will put out 100. Uh, this will put out from two to 200 volts AC, and from two to uh, from two to 270 volts DC. I don't yet know what the maximum amperage uh, this thing is capable of uh, sustaining without overloading itself, but. Um, I know for a fact that if I short out two leads coming out of this, it'll it'll put out over 70 amps. So I'll just kind of show you here. This this here actually uh, this is for the lower voltage from 2 to 40, and then this is for the upper voltage from 45 to 200. So basically, turning the switch will disengage one transformer and engage the other one. And as I said, this switch here is not in use at all. I don't know what I'll use it for. I might hook up, the, do something with it in the future. So, DC, AC. I don't know why, but as I increase the voltage, the DC tends to want to go higher than the AC. If, if anyone has a theory on why that is, I'd love to hear it. See, we're already getting a few voltage difference on the DC side. So that's 10 on this one. So. I go there and I go next switch up. It continues on. You can hear the humming of the upper transformer a little bit there. I don't know if you can hear that. almost 40 volts AC 53.9 volts DC and that's all the lower transformer will do so to go to the upper transformer switch over and start here We're already over 114 volts on the DC side. That's full on that switch. And that's full on that one. The voltage must be a little bit lower in this uh, workroom. So when I was using this in my other room, that was at 130 volts. Or just because it's midday and there's probably more power usage going on. That's probably it right there. Alright. So the top switch is where we get the higher jumps.
And yeah, that's as high as it'll go. So this will put out pretty much any voltage you could need, whether you're testing an LED or a computer fan that's at 12 volts or 24 volts. You can control motor speed. You, you can um, work with these larger motors. They draw, they'll draw about 12 amps on startup at about 40 volts. And this bottom transformer has no problem uh, putting out 12 amps. It doesn't get, even get warm at all. I'll have to put a bleed resistor on the DC side. As you can see, I'm down on all of them now. And I'm still reading 260. So I'll have to put a bleed resistor across that capacitor to uh, bleed out the excess voltage. It can be dangerous holding that much voltage. You get quite a shock in your hand. It probably won't kill you, but it'll certainly teach you a lesson. Alright, so let's hook this up and see what we can do to this motor. Wow, that's bright. Kick, kick the fan on. Or, maybe not. It looked like it was going from the behind. It isn't going yet, it soon will be. Oh, that's disappointing. Well, that sucks. It's a nice light show. I was expecting some more fire or something. Oh well. Alright, different spring, round two. Of flames. <laughs> All right, still got a little bit of life left in it after replacing uh, the weaker of the two springs. Put it a stronger one. So let's try for round three.
that is sweet. It's just free spinning now. I don't think there's any springs left in this at all. The brush is just moving freely in the shaft there. I think it's done for good this time.